Jury selection in the federal trial against three former Memphis police officers accused in the brutal beating death of Tyree Nichols is now underway. Thanks for joining your news leader at four. I'm Shay Arthur. I'm Alex Coleman. WREG's April Thompson has been at the courthouse all day long. April, what's gone on so far in court today? Well, Alex, I'm um, Shay. Jury selection continues in the trial of these three officers who are facing federal charges in the death of Tyree Nichols. Plenty of questions to determine if these 200 potential jurors have any bias or prejudice that can prevent them from deciding this case fairly. Now, Tyree Nichols' family was in court earlier today listening to these jurors as they were questioned. They arrived this morning, his mom, stepmother, uncle, sisters, and other family members. His mom told us she is holding on. She has been waiting on justice for her son, Tyree, who was killed January 2023. And at one of the last plea hearings, Robon Wells, Tyree's mom, told us what she hopes the remaining three officers on trial would go ahead and do. Look in the mirror and see and look at themselves and find and say that they're guilty. These defendants, to Darius Bean, Justin Smith, Demetrius Haley, they will be tried by a jury of 12. But right now, getting down to that 12 is what's proving to be a long and tedious process. But it is an important one. The judge is asking the potential jurors about important characteristics of a juror and what is bias. The attorneys will also have their own questions for these jurors. But one thing that they're pretty much stuck on right now when I just left the courtroom, one juror said he saw video of the beatings. He says he remembers thinking back when he saw that video the first time that he thought the officers, he thought they went too far is what he said. And he said that affected him back then. Then another juror raised her hand. She said she had heard about the guilty plea by the other defendants and she thought about that and it crossed her mind. So obviously some of the um, attorneys and the judge wanted to question them more about their thoughts on this case, what they had heard about it, and if it would affect anything that they had to do in this jury process right now. Of course, this process is still in the early stages. Again, 200 potential jurors, and they have to whittle it down to 12, we're told that this could take up to two days. Of course, we'll be here live to bring you the very latest. And coming up on News Channel 3 at 5, we're going to hear more from Tyree Nichols' family attorneys as they talk about what we can expect in the coming weeks with this case. I'm News Channel 3's April Thompson reporting live in downtown Memphis. April, thank you very much as always. Former Memphis police officers Desmond Mills Jr. and Emmett Martin have already taken plea deals in the Tyree Nichols case and are expected to take the stand. All five still face an upcoming murder case at the state level. Nichols family has filed a $550 million lawsuit against the Memphis Police Department and the city of Memphis.